Energy is a fan expansion for Tapestry by Sam Gray. With it, you get new achievements, more powerful landmarks, towns and cities that produce resources, and energy. This expansion comes with the rulebook, 12 double-sided landmark ability tokens, 35 achievement requirement tiles, 21 achievement reward tiles, a reference card, and 10 new civilizations. Each player needs 3 town tokens, 3 city tokens, and an energy token. Add the new civilizations to the 16 that come with the game, or use them instead of the standard ones. Come up with something that works for you, like dealing each player one standard civilization and a new one to choose from. You will replace the three existing achievements with four new achievements. Every game uses the Conquer Middle Island requirement tile, so pull that out, and then randomly draw three more requirements tiles. The criteria for each requirement is written in text with some keywords standing out. If two or more tiles have the same keywords, discard down to one and redraw. Place all four of them on top of the original requirements. I don't know how they're supposed to fit either. Deal out one reward tile underneath each achievement tile. Landmark abilities give powerful single-use benefits to players who acquire landmark buildings. These tokens have an A side and a B side and show you the name of the building they are associated with. As an example, this side of the train station lets you spend two energy to explore twice and this side of the train station lets you pay one worker and one coin to gain two energy and then immediately take another turn. For setup, randomly choose a side for each token using whatever mechanism you like and place it on its proper spot on the board. Take the six buildings of your color and place them next to you. Put an energy token on the zero space of your income mat. Achievements work pretty much as you expect. The first time you reach an achievement's requirements, select one of the three unoccupied reward spaces and gain that benefit but only take the red bordered award in a four-player game. All the benefits and their iconography are described here in the manual. The player that claims a landmark also claims the associated ability token and can redeem it for the face-up ability and then they discard it. You can redeem it at any time during your advancement turns and you cannot redeem landmark ability tokens during your income turn. All the landmark benefits and their iconography are also described in the manual. Please don't accidentally flip over a landmark ability token in your fidgety hand so that you forget which side it was on before you redeem it, or even after you discard it. The Academy landmark token lets you pay two energy to take a discarded landmark token, but the same side has to remain face up. And the Builder Civilization allows a player to use both sides of a landmark ability token. Okay, let's talk about energy. One unit of energy can be spent any time as a universal resource, but Energy isn't considered a resource as far as any rules go, so for example, you can't get energy when you complete a district in your capital city. You get energy by building towns and cities, so let's talk about that. The short summary is, this is a town. You get a town when you move to a new tier, but someone else already has the landmark. Towns go on the borders between territories. Building a town gives you one energy, and the town will give you resources when you collect income. Now I'll back up and explain that in more detail. If you move a token to a new tier and someone else has the landmark, you build a town and gain one unit of energy. Build your town at the intersection of two territories, or even in the corner of three territories, where you control at least one of the bordering territories. There must be at least two of the same land terrain type on the border to build there. This predominant terrain type is used during the income phase. If the town is predominantly in mountains, you produce one worker resource. Grasslands produce one culture resource. Desert produces one money resource, and forests produce one food resource. Instead of building a town, you can upgrade one of your towns to a city. The town goes back to your supply, and you can use it again. Building a city gives you a unit of energy, just like you get for building a town, and during the income phase, it gives you that resource per city, but also an additional unit of energy. Towns and cities are considered in between territories and not on them. So placing a town here doesn't count as a second unit preventing someone from conquering your territories. Speaking of which, protect your towns and cities, because as soon as an opponent controls two territories surrounding your town, they conquer it. They replace your town with theirs, and they gain one energy. And if they replace your city with one of their cities, they gain two energy. Your tokens will return to your supply. And that is everything you need to know to play Tapestry, the energy expansion.